girls, you can read me mine. What's your zodiac sign? I'm trying to see if our stars align. What's your zodiac sign? We ain't got nothing left for time. What's your zodiac sign? Like, what's your zodiac sign? Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. So you guys got whoever fears the Lord has a secure fortress and for their children, it will be a refuge. Okay, this is a proverb words. Okay, so you may want to go look that up. Yeah, I kind of feel like um, you have good favor here with God and I kind of feel like this is going to be in, it's in good favor for your whole bloodline, okay? So the overall energy that you guys got here was the ju the judgment card here, okay? So somebody could definitely be wanting some type of second chance here when it comes to a situation. First of all, I feel like you're definitely highly favored, okay, by God here. Okay, so you definitely have a good place when it comes to, you. Um, you know, when you pass, whatever the case may be. And it's due to the work that you put in here, your efforts and everything that you put in, you know, your relationship with God. I just want to say that. But somebody may want some type of second chance here or want you to um, give them another chance here when it comes to a situation they could be pleading. Okay, um, and I kind of feel like somebody is working hard for your yes answer here. And I kind of feel like you could have had something could have definitely been a, a struggle or a burden here when it comes to something that you're doing. Okay, you put in a lot of work. It was a lot of hard work here. And I kind of feel like whatever this hard work is that you put in, then this is definitely paying off with this Ace of Pentacles here. Opportunity is getting ready to arise. And I kind of feel like with the devil in the reverse, I kind of feel like all that toxic ass shit is being removed. Like toxic ne negative energy is being removed from your vicinity here. We have this nine of wands here. That somebody was stressing and worrying here. Okay. But I kind of feel like, um, but this four of cups here, somebody has been rejected. Okay. Somebody was, yeah, somebody is rejecting negative energy, toxic energy here. Somebody is stressed and worried. Okay. In the situation, because I kind of feel like they want some type of opportunity with you. First of all, somebody may want some type of sit down with opportunity here with you. Okay. This could be somebody that's trying to bring toxic negative energy in here and cause stress to your life. This is people that you're ignoring here. Okay. I kind of feel like you've worked hard to remove these type of people or in certain cycles with these people. And some of these people are trying to come back and ask you for some type of forgiveness or something here. That's number one. Number two, like I was saying, is that like you in a good place with God. Like I said, you setting up a, you have a secure fortress when it comes to, you know, your place when you pass. So you already know where you're going. Okay. Um, and I kind of felt like you put in a lot of hard work. Okay. Like I said, it was a struggle. You build your relationship with God here. Okay. And I kind of feel like when it, when it's time for that time to come, you already know what side you're sitting on here. It was a struggle for you to get to where you had to go, but you glad that you had went through that opportunity. I mean, you glad that you going through the struggle here because the fruit is the, uh, what, I want to say the fruit is is greater, but the end game is better than, you know what I'm saying? Because you put in a lot of effort and time here, okay? So I kind of feel like it's going to pay off here with this Ace of Pentacles energy. And I kind of feel like, you know, the devil can't touch you. I kind of feel like, you know, people that is toxic and negative, they stressed out. And I kind of feel like you rejected them, but you're ignoring that type of energy. You're not going backwards towards that, okay? This is somebody who have found salvation or seek salvation here. Is what I'm picking up. Um, let me see. What else can I pick up here besides the fact that you're leaving these stressful ass people alone and rejecting them here? Somebody wants a second chance here. This is somebody who was real toxic in the situation with you here. They stressed out that you're rejecting them. Okay, they want an opportunity here with you. The Ace of Pentacles. I kind of feel like whoever this is, you work really hard for your money here. Okay. Somebody could be after you for your money or wanting to ask you for money or something. You work really hard for this shit. Okay. Somebody wants a second chance or somebody wants forgiveness. And I'm not sure if this person is willing to put in the work or whatever the case may be here. But I feel like this is definitely somebody who you've been dealing with before. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay. A Capricorn for sure. Okay. 
So we have idea. We have overload. So somebody is overloaded with ideas, okay? Somebody could be having a bunch of ideas where it's a complete overload here, okay? And somebody needs to be very strategic, okay, when it comes to whatever this is that they are, whatever this is they are thinking here. So somebody is overthinking here and they need to be strategic. It's something that somebody is trying to do here and they just overthinking and stressing themselves out and worrying here. And it has a lot to do with a proposal. So somebody may want to propose to you here. They want to be successful. They want to, you know, kneel down and make a promise to somebody here. They want to propose. They want a victory, okay? And somebody is, you know, they had this idea that they want to propose. They want this victory. They want to proclaim their love or something like that here. They want a, a, a victory here, but they feel overloaded and overwhelmed because they just constantly thinking about it. So I feel like this is somebody who's thinking, 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 and ain't making no fucking action towards what it is they're trying to do here, okay? And, you know, they're trying to come up with the best strat strategy and game plan on how to make this proposal, make this promise, make this victory or whatever the case may be okay apply the rules how they fit okay and this could be this person that is trying to come in and propose to you okay this person from your past who i said that you know that was rejecting you or whatever the case it be here where they feel rejected or something like that here so i'm not sure if they're willing to put in this work but they want this second chance okay so we have a godmother here we have nip it in the bud and we have the karma gets jealous so yeah somebody could have been um Somebody may feel like somebody is that fairy godmother number one here, and they may be trying to nip something in the bud with a karmic energy, and the karmic person is fucking jealous here. Now, a godmother could have had told somebody that they need to cut somebody off or nip something in the bud because there's a karmic person involved here, and they need to cut that shit out because there's a karmic that's involved. You know what I'm saying? So somebody just needed to cut a karmic off here, and I kind of feel like um, they doing this shit in the... In the Somebody is cutting a comic off in the nick of time, and now this person is jealous, okay? So that could be what this toxic energy was here. This was causing somebody a bunch of stress. This is the reason why somebody could have been ignoring you if they was ignoring you here. But this is somebody who wants a second chance, okay, with judgment. They want you to forgive them here. They want an opportunity here with this Ace of Pentacles, okay? And they could have been, you know... You could have put a lot of work in with this person. You could have been with them for at least seven to ten years or seven to ten months or something like that. But it was a struggle dealing with this person, whoever this is. They could have been tied to somebody negative. And by the devil being in reverse, it's like they dropping that person or whatever. And now this comic is per somebody is dropping this person. And now a comic person is jealous, you know, in a situation here. Apply the rules how they fit, you know, use your discernment when it comes to the intel. So we have time apart. So you and somebody may be not speaking. Y'all may be on, you know, having time apart right now. Somebody is waiting, okay, because somebody was messing around with somebody else. It was an infidelity here. So somebody is waiting for somebody to leave somebody else. So we have somebody that has a Taurus moon here, okay. Um, yeah, somebody that has a Taurus moon. They're waiting for somebody to leave a situation here. Somebody that is an Aries, a Virgo, okay, a Leo. A Scorpio, a Sagittarius, okay, Moon. Somebody is waiting here, okay, and they and somebody could be cheating or leaving somebody that has this Taurus Moon or something, okay. But somebody is waiting for somebody to leave us another situation, pretty much. So it was definitely a third party situation or something like that going on. And then we have opportunity. So some type of opportunity is getting ready to arise for somebody, okay. So we have making a large purchase or somebody could be buying something, making a large purchase. This could be this ring here that somebody is trying to um, propose to somebody with. We have gay for pay. So somebody could be gay for pay here. We have this is disappointing. So somebody could have found out that. Okay. We have soon as we step on the scene, it's a fight. So yeah. This comic is so fucking jealous that as soon as they step on the scene, they want to fight you and shit. It's always some fucking bullshit. We have easy to get along with. You could be easy to get along with here. We have Divine Masculine says the comics pussy is trash bag. So that's the reason why they don't really want it for real. 
we had paid in full. So yeah, somebody put that fucking dues in. Like I said, somebody worked hard in the situation. You see what I'm saying? Somebody did a lot of hard work and struggle. So somebody put their motherfucking due time in in this relationship on this connection. Okay, and we had they are jealous of your relationship with your divine masculine. So yeah, this karmic is jealous of your relationship with your divine masculine here. We have he is sleeping with a bitch. Hold up. We have he is sleeping with both of the sisters. So somebody is sleeping with two sisters at once. So we have coming back for the holidays. So somebody could definitely be coming back to you for the holidays here. We have as soon as they get as soon as they get a come up, they shit on you who's been there for them. So, yeah, as soon as somebody get a come up, they shit on somebody here, okay? And you're the one that was been rocking out for them, you know, struggling for them, looking out for them and shit. Like I said, somebody put their fucking payment in. They pay their motherfucking dues. We have, um, even if it's tough, hold your head up high with confidence. Yeah, so even if some shit gets tough here, hold your head up high with confidence, okay? We have someone at the job has a crush on you, so somebody like you on your job. Yeah, when it comes down to it, they know you're the one they truly love. So yeah, when it comes down to it, somebody knows that you're the one they truly love, and that's the reason why this comic person is jealous, okay? We have the ex is holding them back from this connection yes so this ex is holding them back from this connection when it comes down to it they know that you're the one they really love and this ex is the one that's holding them down holding them back this is this comic person we have um someone is a part of a cult so somebody could be in the cult shit we have it's canceled season baby yeah so somebody ready to get canceled like a motherfucker we have divine mask and life is being threatened so this comic could be threatening this masculine's life Okay, we have father puts massive pressure on someone to marry. So yeah, somebody father could be wanting somebody to marry somebody here. Okay, and this could have a lot to do with um inheritance or something like that. Um, and then we have a small business owner, so somebody can own a business here. We have just haven't just haven't been in the mood to have sex. So somebody just ain't been in the mood to fuck lately. We have the divine masculine was forced to abandon you. Yeah, so a masculine was forced to abandon you here. Okay, because I think their life was being threatened. We have this breakup was a blessing. So, yeah, somebody feels like breaking up with somebody was a complete blessing here. And we have the comic is jealous. So, yeah, somebody broke up with this comic. It was a complete blessing that they broke up with this person. And now that person is jealous. We have friendship that turns into a relationship. So, some type of friendship turns into a relationship here. We have never make a permanent decision based off of temporary feelings. So, somebody shouldn't make permanent decisions based off of anger, you know, feelings that's temporary here. Okay, they should think long and hard about making permanent decisions here. And it says, John B is on. They don't know about us. So they saying, don't listen to your friends. They don't know about us. 1144. So 11, you could be seeing 111 or 444 or 11 and 44 can be significant here. Um, and then we have freedom fighters. So somebody here is a freedom fighter for real. So they down with the shits. You know what I'm saying? Like Black Panther style. You feel me? So we have he slash she saw he slash she fucking somebody else. So somebody has saw somebody else fucking another person here. They got caught. And then we have, um, it says, Men respect women to have standards. Yeah, so somebody is expecting a man to have standards. You may have some standards here, and this man is respecting you, okay? So we have techno music. Somebody could, like, listen to techno music. Somebody could be Nigerian. We have the musical theater, so somebody can be in musical theater or like musical theater here. Something about the musical theater is significant. We have somebody has a high sex drive. We have a Patti LaBelle verse. If only you knew how much I do love you. So, yeah, somebody is saying, if only you really know. If only you knew how much I really do love you here. Somebody, um, Friday can be significant here. Itty bitty titty committee. So somebody got little titties. We have somebody that's American. Okay. We have somebody that's Russian too. Somebody that's Serbian. Somebody like to listen to J-pop. Somebody that's a Gemini in a cancer relationship. We have 59001 to 59937. We have super head pass it around. So yeah, somebody give good head here. Somebody drive a green car. Something could have happened on Thanksgiving. 
somebody likes children music that could be that j-pop shit or children's music like i said somebody can have kids and it's the reason why they listen to all these kitty ass songs and shit they stay on the kitty channel so i'm getting like you could be driving around like in a um in like a mommy van with your kids all the time and y'all always listen to kids songs um, we have a gemini and a virgo um relationship here somebody listen to indie rock music We have, they not the type to say, holla at me when you come up on something. They will, they will, um, thug it out with you. Yeah. So somebody is not the type to say, holla at me, you know, when they come up on something. Somebody is the type that's going to thug it out with you. So in one instant, somebody is the type that will shit on you when they, when they get a come up and somebody else versus somebody else who, um, who, when you get a come up, they holding it down with you and shit. Somebody got nipple piercings. Okay. Somebody likes parody films. Somebody could be Colombian. We have 1970s crew, 50 and over club. Okay. So somebody could be 90s, 1970s, 50 and over. So nose piercings. We have five, five to six feet tall. Somebody could be Australian. Somebody can be tall. Uh, we have four, six, zero, zero, one to four, seven, nine, nine, seven here. Somebody could be Pakistanian. Something about Wednesday. We have um, whack sex life. So somebody's sex life is whack here. This is an Aquarius and an Aries relationship. Somebody could be Iraqi. Okay. Um, somebody can drive an Ultima. We have brown hair. Okay. Somebody can like dance as a stripper. So this could be some way somebody work at. If we have y'all eat, yo eating the shit out of the pussy, then running the back of other niggas' duty shoots. Bisexual male here. Yeah. So somebody here, the male is a bisexual. Okay, they go both ways. Somebody can have a G is their initials and G unit is on right now. We have F, okay, D. So G F D a R a H. A I and a M is the initials. Okay, first, middle, and last initials are the people involved here. Somebody has a Cancer Venus, a Scorpio, a Aries Moon, a Scorpio Moon, a Aquarius Moon, Pisces Venus, a Taurus Rising, a Virgo Moon, a Cancer, a Virgo, and a Libra is here. Okay, so hopefully you guys got something from this. Yeah, hopefully you guys got something from this. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and drop your tea in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.